When we create NFT collections, it comes down to figuring out how to generate thousands of images and with them something we call metadata. Metadata is additional information to our NFT, right Michael? Indeed. Typically, it contains information like the name of the NFT, its description, and most importantly, the attributes and their values. Every NFT has it. If we look at this CryptoPunk, we can see its name and also the attributes. So we can see that this guy has crazy hair, a VR set, and also a throne and other attributes. But why is it so important? Because the metadata describes what the NFT actually is. And in the collections like CryptoPunks, it sets the level of rarity, especially with the attribute information. Without it, NFTs would not really be interesting. So our goal will be generating the NFTs as well as the metadata with them. First of all, we have to prepare our image assets. Here, I exported different types of CryptoPunk silhouettes. If you'd like to learn how to create those, just check the link above. Then there are also attributes that punks can have, like different types of hair, hats, accessories, also the expressions like a smile. The combination of those silhouettes and the attributes is what makes each punk unique. One way of doing the combination would be using the application where we do the images, there we would pick the traits and the silhouettes randomly and then just export it. And with that exported image, we would also need to create a separate file where we will store the metadata about the image. So we would put all the traits that we chose in there as well as the silhouette. Remember, we need to create thousands of images and their metadata. Yes, doing it manually will take forever. I totally agree. And that's why I created the Raptor Pro, the app that will help us with the whole process of generation. This is NFT Raptor Pro. Let's add the main image, which in our case will be the silhouettes of our punk. So we have the alien, the Simpson type here as well as the ape and the zombie. After having the main silhouettes, we want all of them to be combined with the attributes. So I will click on add new attribute and then I will add attribute number one, which in our case will be the accessories. If we want to make some of the trait in the attribute more rare, meaning that it will appear less in the final combinations, we can do it by adding a rarity number. Okay, let's say we want to make those 3D glasses more rare. So let's right click on it and then rename. Now I will add a underscore R and now the number of the rarity. It goes from one to 99. The higher the number, the more rare it's gonna be. So now I'm gonna give it a 70. And that's how I just made it more rare later on in the generation process. I also want this VR set to be a little bit more rare. So I'm just going to rename its name. Then we'll add underscore R. It has to be a small cap R. Remember that bigger the number, the more rare it's going to be. So I'm just going to add 30 and then press enter. So now I will be adding the attributes one by one. Here we have a clown nose or the golden chain, for example. Two more, so let's add another attribute. And now we'll be adding the ones that are for the hat. Yeah, so we have a nice red cap here, as well as the police cap or the thin mohawk. You can see that they were added to an attribute number three here. And let's add the last attribute that are tied with the mouth. So we can see a cigarette, different beards, you know, and also a vape. That was all we had to do for generating the images. And now we're gonna focus on the metadata. We are almost done. First, let's fill in the name for all the images. So I'm gonna type in my custom punk. Then we can fill in a description that is completely optional that all the NFTs will also have. The last step is naming the attributes. It's also optional, but I recommend to do it because then you can describe what the images here or the attributes actually are. I will start with renaming the main here to the punk type because each of those are actually different types of punks. The first attribute are the eyewear accessory. The second ones are the special accessory. The third one are head accessory. And lastly, we have mouth accessory. Yeah, let's scroll up. I know you want me to hit this generate random button so we would proceed with the generation. But first, let's also have a look at this max number of combinations number here. 
this 60,000 something number says how many combinations we are able to create by combining all the silhouettes with all the accessories. So you can see that the number is fairly high and usually we would like to create only a collection of 10,000 or 8,000 of images. So we can now here change its number to any value that we want, but let's go with 10,000 because that's the golden ratio for the NFT collections. Are you ready? Let's generate. The generation process is done. It took 12 minutes and 35 seconds to get it done. Let's check the results. First, we're gonna have a look at the results of generation. So here we can see all the different combinations that were randomly combined. We can see some pretty funny combinations like this one or the one in previous really, really funny combinations we got there. Um, so yeah, it's 10,000 of those random but unique punks. Along with generated images, we also got a forger called metadata where we can see the files that corresponds to each of the punks. So let's open the zero. So this is the metadata of the punk number zero. You can see that we, here we have the my custom punk name that we set at the very beginning in the Raptor Pro as well as the description. And most importantly, we can see the punk type, which is the Simpson. Then we see the trade eyewear accessory that is honed rim glasses as well as the special accessory that is the silver chain or the head accessory that is the bandana. So now let's check if it's also corresponding to the actual image. We can see that it matches. First, let's check the punk type, which is the Simpson. So we see the yellow guy. Then we have the honed rim glasses as well as the silver chain here on the neck and also the bandana, the blue one here and of course the black normal beard. So that's how the metadata works. It describes further the information about the image NFT. If you're about to create an NFT collection, and I believe that you do, then the only thing you need to focus on is creating the image assets. The rest, the generation process and the metadata, you can leave to the Raptor Pro. Subscribe if you have not. Tang and Michael are out.